Hey guys, even here, and in this video, first we're gonna talk about Rafael Brando. We didn't see this guy compete since Iron Classic South America, where he lost to Juan Morel, and it seems like we're gonna see him at 2020 Arnold Classic. Arnold Classic 2020 really seems to be getting more and more exciting by the day, so we're gonna see Rafael Brando as well. What I'm curious is how would Rafael compare to Patrick Moore? Because these two guys are representing the classic look in the open. But I think um, from the front, uh, the quads and the legs, Rafael is better. But from the back and overall sheer mass and conditioning and everything, uh, Patrick is better. Because he's an older guy and he is more, more mature for sure. But they are both very classic, but not too small for the classic physique. They're just big enough for the open and they have the classic look. With time, they will become better. Especially Rafael, because he's a youngster. He's like 28 or something. Patrick Moore is about 35, so the chances of him improving dramatically are smaller than those of Rafael. But as for now, look at his physique. Very, very classic. This guy has a lot of fans, especially those from Brazil, where he is actually originally from. And uh, he has a lot of fans, basically, in bodybuilding, because he's representing the classic look in open bodybuilding, just like Patrick Moore is doing, and maybe a couple of other guys, but not as well as these two guys. One of my viewers actually watched that YouTube video of uh, Rafael Brandao training with Flex Lewis, where Flex Lewis actually said, Arnold Classic, come on, bro, for Arnold Classic. And this video was filmed uh, on September 26th, so about 11 days ago. Rafael didn't announce competing in the Arnold Classic officially, but I don't think Flex would be saying something like that in Wayne. I'm sure Rafael told Flex this privately, but let me play this little video again for you so you can hear clearly what he said. So yeah, we're gonna see Rafael Brandao at the Arnold Classic 2020. And if you guys hear about something newsworthy or you find something like this, let me know on my Instagram account. The name of my Instagram account is Even Bodybuilding, and you can chit chat with me. You can just tell me whatever you think about whatever. I always reply to everyone, so please follow me on Instagram as well. Anyways, let's go with the next news. So the next thing is about Phil Heath, and this seems like Phil Heath is actually retired. Well, also, another viewer of my YouTube channel sent me this screenshot. This is just a conversation in the comments with Phil Heath. So let's read this, it's very interesting. Uh, this guy says, it's true though, and like always say, you are more appreciated now than ever. Plus, with your supplement line, it seems like a no-brainer to me. Compete again, and that supplement line will blow up. You have more buzz now than ever. And he replies, the brand will grow based on providing content, content which is something I have withheld for years, so given my current condition, it will prove to work very well. Competing once a year won't bring in sales, more than creating content daily, weekly, in my experience. Huh. And this guy replies, I agree, but I think creating content alongside an actual prep would uh, double viewing and revenue figures. Uh, there's too much buzz around your name at a minute, and it will only grow. I think you would be crazy not to take advantage of that situation, on top of the fact you could easily pick another $400,000, check, and everything that comes with it. And he replies, so then let's ask the real question, how many shows can I do, and also should I do while sacrificing other projects? Eventually, by your logic, creating contest content would only yield maybe what, one to three more times, so that means what will happen thereafter lies a huge dilemma. So basically, based on this, you can conclude that Phil Heath is just trying to defend his attitude towards competing at this moment. He's saying that creating content on Instagram and other social media will yield in better results in terms of sales and basically money. It's nothing official, of course, but it seems like he's not gonna compete again. As you can see, he says, um, how many shows can I do and also should I do while sacrificing other projects with three question marks? So it seems like, why the hell would I compete again? That's basically what he's saying. The vibe that I'm getting is that he's very disappointed in uh, IABB, in bodybuilding, in Mr. Olympia. He feels that he was robbed and he thinks his value is much better than that and he thinks he deserved the victory. And he probably feels that he was making the show, which is true. It is definitely true. He was making a show out of Mr. Olympia. Now, without him, it's not very interesting. And the next year, if he doesn't compete, 
it's not gonna be that exciting, unfortunately. Who are we gonna watch? Brandon Curry versus Sean Roden? If Sean Roden gets unbanned, if that doesn't happen, who are we gonna watch again? Brandon Curry versus William Bonac? Is that the best we can do? Is that the, the, the top of bodybuilding, really? Big Remy is quite eventful. Roy Winkler is also, if he comes shredded once in his life. Same thing goes with Cedric McMillan. But, you know, that's nothing compared to Phil Heath or Kai Green or Sean Roden and these other guys. So, it seems like Phil is really disappointed and he is well aware of his importance in bodybuilding and he wants to hurt the Mr. Olympian IBB. It seems like it. But, I mean, it's nothing official. Many things can change in a year. So, you have a full year ahead. Maybe Phil changes his mind. Maybe he didn't even make up his mind. This is just pure speculation. But this is what I got and I report on news, whatever I get. I know it's not much, but how else would you guys hear about this? So I wanted to provide this information for you and you can make your own conclusions. Let's go with the next thing. All right, so next thing is Big Ramy and his uh, most recent physique update. I think he uploaded this a couple of hours ago and he looks basically ready for the stage. I mean, this is probably what he was conditioned at the Mr. Olympia 2018. His goal, his plan that he announced officially is Arnold Classic 2020. But it seems like he has something before that in mind. I don't think he would be this lean at this point. Look at him. This is basically the same condition that he had at the Mr. Olympia 2018, right? This is not ordinary big Ramy off-season conditioning. Based on this photo right here, I'm pretty sure he's competing before Iron Classic. Probably Iron Classic as well, but probably he has another show in mind before that. I mean, if he, if he showed up like this at the Romania Pro, who would stop him? Regan Grimes? Come on, let's not even care about it. He is not even close to this level. Big Ramy doesn't even have to be conditioned more than this to win. Because in bodybuilding, mass is definitely very, very important. It's the first thing, probably. Mass, and then you go with um, conditioning, and then you go with symmetry, and lines, and proportions, and everything, you know, how it works. But basically, mass is an uh, overwhelming factor. And if he stands next to Regan Grimes or Cody Montgomery or whoever who's gonna compete at the Arnold Classic, that's gonna be that's gonna be just easy easy for Big Ramy. He's gonna win that show easily. So I'm looking forward actually to seeing him compete as soon as possible. And I hope it's not gonna be Arnold Classic only. I hope it's gonna be more shows than Arnold. But I most certainly am looking forward to seeing him at the Arnold Classic against Sean Roden and other guys because at this point it seems like 2020 Arnold Classic is going to be epic. And yeah, you heard me right, I said Colin Montgomery might compete at the Arnold Classic and uh, that's something I heard from a person who commented on my last video about uh, Arnold Classic and about Cody and I'm not sure about this, I didn't find the video. If you guys can find the video in which he's saying, uh, this guy actually in the comment section said that Cody was saying about Arnold Classic, about his plans to compete the Arnold Classic in one of Jay Cutler's videos. So if you guys can find that video, send me the link and tell me what minute he's saying it. I'm gonna put it in my next video. But even like this, I can believe that. I can definitely believe in that because he is training hard right now. It seems like he's prepping for something. It seems like he's growing for something. Not prepping in terms of getting lean, but in terms of getting more muscular. So it could be Arnold Classic. And seeing this guy, he, he's like a wonder kid. Because he got a pro card when he was 20. He competed the Arnold Classic when he was 21. And seeing him progress and compete further would be really exciting. So I'm looking forward to seeing him on the stage as soon as possible. And I hope that's going to be Arnold Classic. And yeah, I mentioned Regan Grimes. And here is his most recent physique update. His opposing video. He posted this on his social media maybe a couple of hours ago. And this is his full posing routine, basically. Not exactly full, but yeah, many poses. So, for Regan Grimes, this is looking good. He looks bigger. He looks fuller. It seems like he grew a little. And... Um, for a bodybuilding, open division bodybuilder, I mean, compared to the big guys like Sean Roden and Big Ramy and the other guys, um, Brandon Curry, William Bonac, and so on, he's not that good. He still needs to do some growing. But the potential, the potential is definitely there. This guy is a beast. He's very, very young. He's only one year um, older than Cody. He's born in 1993, so that makes him 26 a day. For a 26-year-old, he's super thick. And I'm really curious how he got this stick by lifting the way he lifts. Because he lifts very, very light. He just pumps the muscle up and uh, he grows from that. <laughs> 
So obviously genetics are playing a big, big factor in his game and um, he's got them. He's got the genetics. He has the small tight waist, small joints and he has all the muscles basically. He doesn't have any weaknesses, any obvious flaring weaknesses and it's just gonna take some time for him to grow and uh, to mature more and to be very, very good pro in the open. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be the last thing I'm gonna talk about in this video. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. If you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. All the best. Bye-bye.